Hey, Joe, uh, what went into just the switch back to Derek in the starting five tonight, and how did you, uh, you know, what did you see out there with that adjustment and going to uh, the eight-man rotation as well? Um, yeah, I just think with our depth and our ability to play different ways, you want to con constantly mix it up a little bit. And if you look at the season from a five, ten-game blocks, I thought uh, in that five-game block that we had Grant in there, we were you know doing some different things on a defensive end. And uh, I thought tonight um, in the few games going forward that um, you know it's different matchups. And so credit to those guys for their humility and their ability to bounce back and forth. But I thought it balanced out our rotations and gave us the best chance to win. Luca had one assist through most of the first three quarters, and then basically from the four-minute mark to the next four-minute mark, he had nine. What was the difference between keeping him to the one assist and, and the explosion that he had after that? Yeah, we lost our offensive discipline, which allowed them to get out and transition and cross matches, and then we overhelped a little bit and had some defensive miscommunications. Uh, he had four of those assists in transition, and so a lot of that is because of our offensive discipline. Um, but, you know, I thought for the most part our guys did a great job of managing the game with our spacing and our offensive decision-making, only 12 turnovers to a team that's first in the league. And I thought we had great game plan execution, um, you know, for the majority of the game. Joe, Jason goes from questionable before the game to 37 points, 13 rebounds, five assists, two blocks. Uh, just what is it that makes this guy so special to be able to put forward that type of per performance after being questionable going into the game? Yeah, I mean, his durability, um, his ability to answer the moment, his ability to be a great teammate, to make other people around him better, to celebrate when the team is playing well. And um, you can count on him to play every night. And so, you know, that's great. Joe, obviously the effort against Chicago, you talked about how when things got tough, you kind of waned. And what went into starting the way that you started and in, in having such a, a, a better effort to start the game after the, the effort in the Chicago game? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a long season and um, you go through small moments, but I thought our guys did a great job just kind of bouncing back. And we talk a lot about great teams stay the best version of themselves. Um, for longer periods of time, and when they don't, they bounce back quickly. And so you're not going to be play perfect every single night, um, but it's a matter of how you handle it. And I thought our guys did a great job bouncing back. What did you like about the emphasis on kind of attacking and putting pressure on the rim at the start, and what did that maybe do to open things up uh, on the perimeter later on? Yeah, I thought we were well balanced in our rim reads. Um, you know, they do a great job of slice closeouts and trying to run you off the line and force you into a lot of help. And um, we shot the ones we were supposed to shot, and we made the right decision at the rim, um, you know, 75 to 80% of the time. So um, that kept them out of transition, uh, which they're not a fast team, but, you know, they do, uh, op they do uh, capitalize when your rim reads aren't great. And so I thought we just had a well-balanced, you know, offensive attack. It starts with our spacing. Thanks, Thank you.